Today, mules can be found pulling carriages along the busy streets of most major American cities. The powerful animals, brightly colored wagons, and quirky tour guides combine to form a one-of-a-kind experience for tourists and residents alike. The story of the American mule can be traced back to a very special gift, a royal gift. In 1785, four years before he would become president, George Washington received a male donkey named Royal Gift. This unusual present was given to Washington by King Charles III of Spain. The goal was to breed the donkey with a female horse in order to produce a high quality mule. Washington believed that mules were a perfect fit for the agricultural development in America. He was right. Although farmers in the North preferred horses and oxen, Southern farmers eventually relied heavily on mules. By 1897, there were 2.2 million in the U.S. alone. They were used for agriculture, transportation, military service, and all kinds of other jobs. Over time, machines replaced mules in the agricultural world. Combustion engines allowed for more efficient and speedy work. Oddly enough, during World War II, many farmers had to return to using mules due to wartime fuel rationing. These days, one of the most common commercial uses for mules is the guided mule tour. Get out of here, killer! <laughs> Get over and tighten up. Folks, by the way, my name's Charles. My little mule up front is Sweetheart. Sweetheart, come all the way from Knoxville, Tennessee. She's about 13 years old, and she only been doing this about three years. I was born, raised in New Orleans. I've been doing this since 1978. Whoa, 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 sweetheart. Got to make a U-turn now, hold up. In New Orleans, mules line up along the corner of Jackson Square across from the river. Tour guides spend their entire days convincing people to climb aboard carriages and explore the French Quarter. The tours typically include options such as one hour or a half hour tour and can feature topics such as history, hauntings, or other fascinating topics. Of all the carriage tour companies stationed in the French Quarter, one of the most important is called the Royal Carriage Tours. This business is the oldest sightseeing carriage company in America and has been a family-run business in New Orleans for over 81 years. The Royal Carriage Tours help institute many state laws about things such as the treatment of work animals. Most famously, the company worked with city officials to require carriage companies to use mules rather than horses. Prior to the switch, many carriage companies stationed in the French Quarter used retired racehorses. These animals were less capable of surviving the strenuous exercise and they were more vulnerable to the heat and humidity of Southern Louisiana. Pregnant, so I've just been doing it ever since, you know. Look, stand back, stand back. Hold on. Pull on up, sweetheart. Pull on, sweetheart. Hold it, killer. Whoa.
the switch was a smart business move as well. Mules are far more effective for carriage tours than horses are. Although horses are faster than mules, mules are smarter and stronger and have denser muscles and thicker skin. Mules are strong animals capable of pulling heavy weights. They are also able to thrive in extreme conditions. Despite the rumors of the mistreatment of carriage mules, the animals actually enjoy pretty good lives. Most companies only require them to work five days a week and even grant them vacation time in pastures during some parts of the year. Yeah, we have a barn in the Marinade. There's a couple other barns scattered around the city. So they just walk home every night. <laughs> Mules are commonly thought of as stubborn and hard-headed animals or as the less popular relative of the horse. However, they provide an important service that allows people to truly experience the city. <laughs>